I am terrified <laughs> that we're going to fall over, Courtney. Do you feel like we're standing on the precipice of a new age? It, it's... I hope so. Are we going to walk down or are we going to stay here? No, we should probably walk okay. slowly. Okay. Well, hello, Dolly. Sorry. <laughs> really That's for the theatre queens. I that. loved it. Um, are you ready for the hot mess of Student Pride 2018? I'm not referring to me or Courtney, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, later. It's, uh, yeah. Oh, my God. Are you coming out? Yeah, I'm in a big... Oh, maybe that's a secret. Oh, my God. What? Did I just... Sorry. Nothing. It's okay. okay. Well, I'm really excited about that. More details later. <clears throat> no one heard anything. Are you ready for Queer Date? Okay. <laughs> I have to read the cue card, so I have to, break, have to break. Um, this is going to be our big gay game show where you will not find true love. But maybe you will. You might. I hope you will. Um, I didn't expect to find true love in the Big Brother house, but I did. Oh, stop. You know what? I had thirst for both of you. Oh, like, definitely. Um, it. As it's coming up to Valentine's, we thought we'd do a very special uh, blind date spin-off called Queer Date. And for the, the past few weeks, your applications have been coming in. We have loads of people that wanted to date our celebrities. Um, we've chosen two very lucky students to come and try their luck on a date with our special guests. Do they know who they are yet? No, it's a total secret. You're somewhere in this room. It could be you. Or you. Or you. Or you. Okay. Or us. Or us. Um, so the way we're going to do it is very simple. Uh, a student is going to come on and then we're going to have... Do you know what? Let's just do this. Should we, should we roll the titles? All right. Okay, roll the titles. Roll the titles. And get ready for Queer Date. <laughs> Ginger, so I'm I'm kind of serving Scylla right now. And I feel like oh see all my cultural reference I have to spend Paulo a Grady. good time of assimilating. Or like Lily Savage, thank Lily you very Sa much. Yes, yes. Exactly, you're right. You're the Lily Savage. So over here our student will be placed behind this divider so that they can't see which three of our celebrities they have a chance to date. Um, they're going to get to ask three questions before they decide which of them takes their fancy. And because we don't know, want them to know who they are, we're going to blindfold them with this unicorn blindfold and give them ear defenders so oh, that they can't hear. Oh, a pair of Anne Whittacombe's favorite ear defenders. <laughs> she needs a mouth defender. Oh, girl. Shade. Um, <laughs> after that, uh, the contestant will choose which, which celebrity they're going to go on a date with and we'll whisk them off to the Isle of Fernando's. No, we won't. We won't do that. We don't have the budget. We'll whisk them off to like the aisle outside of Science Block or something at the University of Westminster. They'll take photos together. They may fall in love, guys. So this is a real thing. You never know. Are you ready Stranger for... Stranger things have happened. Exactly. Yeah. Are you ready for our first contestant? All right, please welcome Alex. Come on down, Alex. Come on down. I need to spend about 10 years watching UK... Hi, Alex. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Hot Sauce. Hi. I'm going to keep you in my bag, Swag. Welcome to Queer Day. Are you hopeful did that you, you just, might meet Did the you one? just call him a top? <laughs> no. I think that's a little bit personal. Did I say I like the top? I think I did. Oh. <laughs> Wait, well, are you? That's a bit... That's, that's, that's too far too funny. soon. They, you know, I still don't oh, need to know this gosh. as well. Maybe. Okay, sorry. In, in a but are you? No. <laughs> uh, have a seat, Alex. Uh, please take the headphones. And these the, are cute. Yeah, they're very cute. Uh, tell us a bit about you, Alex. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Tooting. Well, Wales, but we don't admit that. Which university? Why not? Wales is amazing. Not my part. <laughs> Whereabouts? The Ronda. The Ronda. Have you been yeah. to the Ronda? No. Uh, is I've been to like Wales. A, an outlet shopping centre in the Ronda somewhere? Uh, yeah, kind of. Which yeah, great. All. <laughs> I want to ask you a question. Tell me what this is. This is my pride tattoo. You've got a microphone. I didn't need to put this large black yeah. phallic object towards your mouth, do I? Oh, wow. This is your pride tattoo? Yeah. What does it mean? Um, well, it's just cute. Okay. <laughs> the people were waiting for the golden words, and it's cute. <laughs> it, it is, is very cute. cute. It is cute. So it's a triangle with a rainbow flag. Yeah. Um, Alex is an ex-diver, everyone. Ooh. 
You've got two puppies. Yeah. And love your top because <laughs> they're called Blue and Ivy. Yeah. Uh, Amazing. You can study... we infer that you're a Beyonce fan? Just a tad. Just a little. Yeah. Alex studies leadership and management. That's so mask, definitely. <laughs> Come on. Okay, we'll go for that. <laughs> You're um, so and you, binary. And you, <laughs> and you also host a health center. Yes. Which yeah. is very fun. So tell me about the health center because I hear you have a pretty cool class. Is that right? Yeah, so um, I teach spin as part of my job. Um, and I do a drag sp themed spin class. Amazing. Yeah. A drag spin class. What's it called? I mean, drag, drag spin. spin drag, drag spin. <laughs> drag spin. So that's what it is. Very much. <laughs> well, we need to come down to that. That sounds fun. Please pop your ear defenders on. Wait, I want to know, how long have you been single? Like three years. Three years? Yeah, tragic. When, when was your, what, how did, did your last relationship end horribly or amicably? Uh. <laughs> Let's go with horrible. Not All right, no, no comment. Well, today could be a lucky day. Maybe. Yeah. Do you know who the other the, the, the people on the other side of the wall will be? No idea. Okay. All I've right. been on a date with one of them. I have. Oh my god, have you? I have. How did it go? Well, put oh. your earphones on and I'll tell you. The end. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to think you're getting damaged goods. <laughs> <laughs> a sloppy second. All right, so put the earphones on okay. and, and then we'll put the eye mask on you. Oh wait, we should have done it the other way around actually. Yeah, I think that unicorn Yeah, there we go. Eye mask. Can you just confirm you can't see anything? Yeah, I Great. can see nothing. If you could just pop the ear defenders on. Can you hear Can us? you just confirm you can't hear anything? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that kind of failed. That yeah. kind of works then. <laughs> I'll close my ears. Should we bring on our celebrities, Courtney? Yay! Woo! See you in a second, Alex. Although you can't hear us. Um, so, our first guest for the date is Lewis Oakley. Come on, Lewis! <laughs> Hi, Lewis. Hi, Lewis. Grab Love a seat. It. Contestant number two is... Ollie Locke. Woo! Hello, you Where am I? Am I? This is me, right? I'm sorry, Ollie. Can I just move you to this chair? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> admin, <Great>. admin. <laughs> and the next contestant is... Laura Lou. Hi, Laura. Hey. How are you doing? Hi. I'm good, thank you. I'm How's everyone else doing? How, Ollie, how are you? I'm good, James Barr, how are you? I'm really well, thank you. It's lovely Full to see name. you. Full name. Is it <laughs> And Lewis. Hello. Hello, Lewis. Are you good? I'm good. Are you feeling like today could be your lucky day? I hope so. Yeah. yeah, it could be interesting. Am I allowed to talk about who's on the other side, or is that for them to find out? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, you, we can talk about it. Yeah, you. let's talk about it. His name is Alex. His name is Alex. Great. Yes. Yeah. He's got a, uh, a, a, a rainbow tattoo on his arm here, which I quite like. Hi. He has two dogs. Yeah, he used to dive. Yes. Yeah. He's a Beyonce stan. Yes. Okay. The beehive. Fair. Um, I think you're going to like Sounds that. gay to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're in luck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, Oli, you own a dating app, which you're probably supporting right now, Chappie. I do. I founded a dating, a dating app about two years ago called Chappie. Um, if anyone wants to meet their love of their lives, Chappie is more responsible, more respectable, and safer way to gay date. But right now, you're, you're on our show to hopefully meet the one in real life. But I'm miserably single right now. Oh, oh. Always, the, always the bride, so never I'm, the bride. Exactly that. So I'm here tonight to, to find... Tonight, I love that. It feels like a night time, doesn't it? It does. Um, we just need gin. Um, we can sort gin. You're good, thanks. Gin tonic, please, darling. Gin. Thanks so much. Um, Laura, you're a LGBT YouTuber. I am, yes. Woo! Represent. Um, Absolutely. Tell us about your channel. Oh gosh, um, it's me on a YouTube channel talking about LGBT stuff. Awesome. It's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe, she's amazing. <laughs> All right, are you ready for round one? Absolutely. Of Queer Day? I'm just gonna pop back, we'll just pop back to the other side. All right. See you guys in a minute. Are you nervous? You don't look nervous, you look terribly nervous. I probably yeah. should be. <laughs> Who knows? I've never dated on camera before. All right, we can now take Alex's ear defenders off. Hi. There's one we might make him jump. Are you all right in there? Yeah. Okay. So, are you ready to ask question number one? Yeah. Here is question number one. Okay. Who would you rather go on a date with? One, Demi Moore. Two, Mac Lamore. Three, Jack Black. Or four, Courtney Act. Oh. <laughs> there are no wrong answers. <laughs> 
Oh, fuck, are we answering? Is it yeah, so <laughs> contestant, <laughs> contestant number one. Lewis, what you what's your answer? Oh, I would definitely say Courtney Axe. Stop it. Stop. <laughs> this, is, this is... I'm going to go over here. I'll, you ask them the question. Okay, all right. Pretend I'm not here, guys. Okay. So... Oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. Right the stage. I had a Gemma Collins moment. Um, okay, so who are you saying? I'll go for Courtney Act. Courtney Act? Uh, absolutely Courtney, of course. Courtney? It's going to be Courtney, no, yeah. It's Courtney Definitely. for all three. <laughs> okay. Shocking that was going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> See, I feel like you want somebody who's going to break the status quo and not go for the obvious choice. That's just my... <laughs> I don't know, I have a pretty obvious choice. You're a pretty obvious choice? I feel what? I have one. You have one? Yeah. What's your answer to the question? Oh, really? No, you can't tell us your choice It's just, just the Courtney Act Mutual Masturbation Society. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and I kind of like it. Question number two, Alex. Okay, so alongside my studies, I manage a health centre, and one of the classes I run is a drag-themed spin class. If you were in my classroom, or studio, what track would you pick and how would you spin me round? Ooh, contestant number one. Oh, I mean, you've got to stick with Kylie, right? Spin it around. <laughs> but we do it topless. <laughs> contestant number two. So I feel right now you could go really cliche and kind of do a kind of Kylie thing. Or. <laughs> Ooh. The or I think. is getting fierce. I think the greatest showman, this is me, would be the, the thing right now. Uh, so that's what I would. Nice. That's what I would choose, and I would spin you around with that. Yes. Contestant number three. And I'm going to go harder. Oh, harder. Better, maybe faster and stronger, something like that, because that is exactly how I'm going to spin you around. <laughs> wow. I want to say it's not. Kanye, but I'm not it's entirely sure. It's, it's Kanye, yeah. Kanye. Daft okay, Punk. Daft Punk. Fine. Harder, faster, stronger. What did you say? Harder, harder something else. Harder, better, faster, lovely, and that everything. Song. I that song. That song. Okay. I, I was going to go with Kylie too, but I was going to say <laughs> Sexercise. <laughs> <laughs> Except I don't think anybody actually remembers that song, but it was really good. <laughs> Do you remember that one? Oh, it was real sexy. Is it that together? Sorry. That Next question is. I have always been good at sport and have often impressed the boys and girls with my tennis balls. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do that often impresses others? Contestant number one. Well, I mean, as a bisexual man, I've mastered how to give orgasms to men and women. Like, I think that's pretty impressive. It's a hard job. Someone has to do it. <laughs> what was that you said there? And they chose you. Uh, <laughs> contestant, <laughs> contestant number two. All right, I, I won't be doing it now because I have hideous feet. But weirdly, I can, I can walk quite far just on my big toes. Oh. I really can't, I, honestly, I really can't. My, my feet are so bad, I do not want photographs of my feet. <laughs> Every, can you do it in have shoes? anything else, seriously. But that is something I can do. I mean, pick so it didn't happen. I mean, I mean, I mean honestly, we can't do this now. I'll get anxiety, <laughs> I can't. Consent is sexy. Honestly, yeah. yeah. So that's, that's, that's what I can do. That's quite hot. Shall I leave now? Contestant number three. So I have been known occasionally with maybe enough alcohol inside me to be able to see the worm. Um, so I feel like if you and I were to be somewhere together, I could absolutely do that all over the floor. Couldn't you do the worm now? <laughs> do the worm. 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 Do the work. 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 And it's a blind date anyway, so you're going to have to hear me do it. Okay. <laughs> do you need space? Oh, I don't know if I... Yeah, can we... Uh, no, we, apparently we no, can stop no, to the No, no, they are stuck to the ground. Well, we can move the I'll do, I'll do two or three. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, just okay. do one. What am I doing? Okay. Please don't fall off. We have not do done again? a risk assessment. Sure. For this. Yes. <laughs> just, I don't want to be the boring voice okay. in the room, but... I'm scared. I'm scared, too. Okay. Watch. Oh. Please don't bang your head. Oh, God. Hey! That. For me, much. contestant number three just took it, <laughs> took it home. We give you a chair back. Um, Alex, what are you thinking so far? <laughs> well, by the sounds of the audience reaction, the worm went down pretty well there. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
I mean, I can't go off the first question because everyone said the same thing. So what are you thinking? Is it contestant number one, contestant number two, or contestant number three? What do you guys think? <laughs> got some okay, threes, this one. Got some ones. Any anyone for this one? Oh. <laughs> this one. Okay, I'm thinking it's it's gonna have to be contestant number two. Oh. Contestant number two, Ollie Locke. Let's. Uh, oh wait, no, sorry, I've given it away. Can we? We need to introduce you to who you could have won. Who you could have won. So first up, please welcome contestant number one. That's Lewis. Oh, wait, Come on down. Come on down. down. Woo. Hi, oh, how are you? you? Sorry, blame <laughs> these <Lovely>. guys. <laughs> so sorry. Bad luck. Bad luck. A good. A good try, though. All right, now please welcome contestant number three. Elsie. Oh, here's the music. Hi. Hey. Hey. You are I want really to see the worm cool. later. Oh well, you know, maybe, maybe. Okay. Are we gonna? Should we pull back the screen? Oh, is that what we do? And now reveal the uh, the date. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> You've won a date with contestant number two. Yeah. It's Ollie Lock. Hi. Hi. Wouldn't that be awkward if I was his ex? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, aren't you? I well, we'll see what Maybe soon. Tomorrow. Have a good date, guys. Oh, Have fun. Don't do anything I wouldn't. Oh, um, which way? Uh, Wait, so around see the back. you guys. Yeah, head the back. Bye. I did say it would be a hot mess. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Should pull the screen back? Okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. All right. Are you ready for our next contestant? <laughs> Uh, please welcome Angelica! Woo! Oh, here she is! Hi, Angelica. Angelica, you look Hi. lovely. Nice to see you, my lovely. How Hi, are you? Hi, I'm good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, Angelica, tell us about yourself. Which uni are you at? Uh, I'm at Sussex University. I'm doing my MA in Gender and Media. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm there with a scholarship, but it's not going that well so far. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you smell good. Thank you. That's my favorite compliment. Yeah. I don't care if I look like shit, I just want to smell you good. You look good too, but everyone can thank see that you look you. good, but I can tell them that you smell good as oh, well. Thank you so much. Yeah. And you look amazing thank as well. Thank you very much. You do smell really good. Thank you. What is that? It's uh, Mon Paris by Yves Saint Laurent. Oh, oh, please check it out, guys. I used to sell for them. Wow, so this one's a keeper. So, how long have you been single? Uh, forever. Forever? I don't think I've actually had like a proper relationship. I had one that was like a month uh -huh. on and off and I've never had an actual date. Okay. Why, why do you think that is? I mean, I don't really go out of the house. So to meet someone, they would have to rob me and then also be gay. Oh. <laughs> do you have cats? Uh, I have a dog. A dog? What kind of dog? Uh, it's like a mixed Jack Russell, but she's in Cyprus and I miss her a lot. Oh, why is she in Cyprus? Because that's where I'm from and uh. she... Yay! Cyprus! What's up? Is Cyprus here? <laughs> is Cyprus being represented? Nice. Okay, well, we're going to bring on our contestants now, that you, your potential dates. So okay. what we need to do is put some ear defenders and a mask on you so that you don't see who they are. Okay. Here's your mask. Here's your Aww. mask. <laughs> What would be your ideal match today? My ideal match? Someone who um, isn't a poor as me, because I can't like, support so another person. So you're looking for like, someone with a bit of cash? <laughs> yeah, because I mean, okay. I can't support myself. I you can't support what? someone else. I support that, because you're owning your life there. You're just there telling everyone what it is. It's totally no, okay. I just want someone who likes to talk and doesn't like to be so flush and like, go out on expensive things all the time. Just like chill. <laughs> right, let's pop the ear defenders on. Oh, I can't hear anything. Are you sure? What? Wait, no, I can. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Okay, now it's fine. Can oh, wow. you hear us now? It's good enough for me. Yeah, that was it's better than last time. Yeah. Uh, should we bring on our hot dates? <laughs> Contestant number one is Riyadh. <laughs> Check it oh. out. You're all on camera, guys. Smile. Woo! Yeah, take a seat. And this one? Contestant number one. Yeah. That one. That one. Oh, wait. Oh. oh, I don't know. It says Riyadh. Riyadh. There. Oh, does it? Yeah, that's me. Oh, okay, cool. Hello. Next up, it's Charlie Craggs. Give her a big welcome Hello, to Charlie. Woo! Hey, beautiful. Do I sit here? Yeah, have a seat. 
Oh my god, you're so pretty. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and next Thank up you. is Nikki Hodgson. Takes me longer in wow, latex. Look at this. No. Can we just talk about this dress for a second? It's latex. Lovely and latex. Can Ooh. I touch it? You can touch it. Oh my god, it's so bouncy. I know. The thing, that you know <laughs> charge him. The, the thing that you know about a girl wearing latex is that she has a good supply of silicon-based lubricant. Mm. <laughs> it's multi-purpose, so exactly. Yeah. Um, so, Nikki, tell us about your uh, sexual... You're a sexual liberator. Is that right? Well, I didn't know how to describe what I, what I am and what I've done. I used to be a dominatrix. I'm an author. Now I'm a sensible journalist for the BBC and Sky News, but I'm still here. <laughs> so. I love that. <laughs> Did you like uh, whip um, businessmen and yeah. spit on them and yeah. stuff? It's wow. very boring. Is it? Yeah. No, it does not sound boring. <laughs> is, it, is it good pay? Yeah, way better pay than I get now. So I don't know why I gave it up, really, but hey. <laughs> Shout out to the BBC. <laughs> um, right? Hashtag equal pay. <laughs> uh, Ria, tell us about your documentaries. Obviously, we've all seen them. Everyone's a fan of Ria, right? Uh, yeah, I, I talk um, bullshit on the internet for a living, <laughs> and uh, it seems to be going all right. Yeah. Um, I'm here to find love, and uh, yeah. I have a story about Ria. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, wait, sake. is this the one? <laughs> I saw Queer Britain on the television, and then I followed Riyadh, and then I tweeted him, and then he tweeted me back, and then we went on a date. Oh. Okay, wait, tell us about it. Well, uh... <laughs> what, what, what are we, <laughs> uh, we went to Veggie Press because, as you know, Courtney is a vegan. <laughs> we, wanted uh, to, we wanted to go to Mildred's, but the line was too long, yeah. so we, we set up for Veggie Press. And yeah. we sat there in Veggie Press eating our vegan mac and cheese. Oh, it was good. Talking <laughs> about drag race. Better than Queer sex. Britain. Oh, it was fabulous. Uh, looking deeply into each other's eyes. Aww. And then we went to... Freedom? Free? Yeah, I don't know, you took me the, there. Freedom? The yard and freedom. And yes. There was a kiss, <gasps> or two, or three. Well, there was a three-way kiss as well, if I oh, recall. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> My friend Aaron. Aaron, yeah. Aaron McCauley. Just putting that out there. <laughs> <laughs> Name and shame, babes. Name and shame. But, no, I really enjoyed it. And, and we've built a really great friendship we from have. it as well. And we filmed recently. Check out the video. Yeah. Yeah. Oh Love my god. You. Oh my god, that's so adorable. <laughs> guys, we've really witnessed something today. <laughs> oh. um, and Charlie! Hi, guys. Woo! Um, so, you obviously are an activist for yeah. trans rights and everything, and you're an author too. So, what's going yeah. on at the minute? What are you writing? Uh, so, I, I did a book for trans uh, feminine people. Basically, it was kind of the book I needed when I started transition. So, I didn't really have any trans people in my life, so I needed like a, a big sister. So, I put a book together of letters from successful trailblazing, whatever you want to call it, trans women, kind of advice to girls starting their transition. Brilliant. And what's that called? It's called To My Trans Sisters. So I'm the to worst author. Sister. Like, I... <laughs> right, yeah, like, plug your shit, babe. Yeah. Plug your shit. Uh, Courtney, you stay here. I'm going right. to go back to Angelica. I'm going to stay here. Um, you guys excited? we can excited? get ready for our date. Ready. Born ready. <laughs> okay, so she can't hit. I'm so sorry if I made you jump. Oh, Do you can't hear me. Yeah, yeah, we just okay, need to take cool. these off. Oh, wow, That's that was so Welcome back, welcome back. How was that? Was it? Were you like meditating? Oh, yeah, yeah. Very zen. You do look zen. Almost, <laughs> Are you nervous? I almost slept a little. Yeah, I am a little bit nervous. You, you slept? You fell asleep? Almost. We it's were like... having the most entertaining banter ever on the other side. Why I can't believe you fell asleep. Um, okay, are you ready to ask our hot contestants your first question? I hope. We're asking question number one. Okay. So I have a dog and she's all the way back home in Cyprus and I love her dearly. But because she's half Jack Russell, she's often very bad and I won't give her, I won't give her any treats if she misbehaves. So if I were a naughty girl, how would you discipline me? <laughs> if Angelica was a naughty girl, how would you discipline her? I think we can just call off the game show right now and skip straight to the end, don't you? <laughs> Shall we start with contestant number one? I'm a Christian guy. <laughs> I'm very boring and vanilla, but I can show you better than I can tell you. <laughs> Not really, guy. I'm... no. <laughs> contestant number two? I would spank you hard, and yes. then I'd stick your nose in your own piss so you don't oh. do it again. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, Was that how right the day on. ended, Courtney? Is that, is that the end of the night? Contestant number three. <laughs> well, I would 
say Samata Angelica. Oh, yeah. nice. <laughs> then I would call you Moromu, and I would ask you to get on your knees, and uh, then we tie you up from the behind and work, work it out from there. I would be happy to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Just a reminder that we are broadcasting live on the Huff Post, by the way. <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, you didn't know oh, that? No, okay, fine. yeah, we are. My mom's not watching, that, everyone, it's okay. Everyone, watching at home. I'm sure you weren't offended. Um, all right, let's go to the next question. Question number two. <laughs> hey, I just met you, and this is crazy, but here's my number, so pick one. Um, call me maybe, call me by your name. You used to only call me on my cell phone. So yeah, call me maybe, call me by your name, or you used to call me by my cell phone, on my cell phone. Is this picking which one of those three songs? Yeah, which one of those three endings? Got it. It's Call Me By Your Name, the film. Mm -hmm. I've not seen that yet, but I will say yes, because I've seen like clips and wait, it looks really wait, cute. Wait, wait, I'm confused. Can we do that again? <laughs> <laughs> you want you... us to pick the name of the song slash movie that we like the most and would say to you? No, I think, I think Angelica's asking you which one you would pick. Yeah, maybe, just Maybe Call like, Me By Your Name, or you used to call me on your cell phone. How would so. you just complete the rest of the song? Hey, I just met you and this is crazy, so here's my number, so... It is a complicated question. Yeah, it okay. is. Okay, yeah. <laughs> 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 what, what did you Wait, say? why are we getting yeah. silence from I the film? <laughs> okay, I'd say um, call me on my cell phone on your cell. Uh, call me on a phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> call the me on a cellular one. device. Contestant number Just, three. Uh, call me by your name. Okay. And contestant number one said. Call me by, I fancy the main guy in that, the Timote. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bit. Probably not what I should be saying if I want to win, but. <laughs> oh well. Party. Question number three. All right. How are you doing, Angelica? Are you okay? Good. Yeah, I didn't write the question. No, I should just tell you that. Just uh, they like didn't write the question. FYR. So, I love when people are confident in the skin that they're in. No matter what shape or size you are, it's about embracing who you are, and I fully support that. Uh, what part of your body do you enjoy revealing the most, and why? Which part of your body do you enjoy revealing the most, and why? Was that revealing? Is that yes. what you said? Yes, okay. revealing. Mm. Contestant number one. Well, are we talking natural body parts? Because Dr. Inglefield did a very good job. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm all fake now, so you choose, honey. <laughs> Look at his catalog. Uh, I would say my little hairy arse. <laughs> I can crack a knot between those cheeks. Ooh. Ooh. Contestant number three. Well, I would say I wear, spend too much time wearing latex, so it's really whatever you can get into. Ooh. Oh. Courtney, what about you? We should answer this question as well. What do you like revealing the most? Oh, yeah, I want to know I that. think mine would be the part that I revealed to the nation when I walked into <laughs> the house. <laughs> yes. Oh, your big heart. My watertight tuck. <laughs> <laughs> it is watertight, because once I peed and nothing came out until I pulled the tuck off and it was, oh. it was a real mess. <laughs> um, I don't know how to answer that question. I can't beat that, because that, your tuck was very impressive. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm going to go with my hair, because I struggled with being ginger for a long time, and now I'm kind of cool with it. So, my hair, I went Aww. deep. <laughs> Courtney did something funny, I just went deep. Okay, are you ready to choose which is your favourite contestant? Think we should so, probably yeah. recap them, right? Yeah. Should um, we recap? I think number one was, sounded very sexy and very playful. Okay, interesting. Well, let's recap them for you. It could be contestant number one, oh, all stage. the latex. Contestant number two, a hairy butt, but ready to pop a nut at your <laughs> earliest convenience. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Contestant number three, I'm struggling to think of a recap. What you said was so unbroadcastable. Contestant number three was the latex. <laughs> oh, the latex, right. Yes. Sorry, this was the whips, right? Yeah. Oh, no, when I said like, yeah, you're right. Okay, Courtney, the, you should, do you want to do it? That's all right. <laughs> Contestant number one, we had lovely, surgically augmented... Christian. Christian breasts. That's it. Um, <laughs> contestant number two, we had the the, the pop a nut. The hair, hairy was, it hairy? was it hairy? Hairy arse. Hairy yeah. arse. Yeah. <laughs> that could pop a nut. <laughs> Wait. Um, our contestant number three, who wears a lot of latex, and you could have whatever body part you could get to. That's right. <laughs> who are you feeling, Angelica? Uh, Do you want to ask the audience, Angelica? Uh, yeah. Who thinks contestant number one? Give us a clap. Number two. 
Awkward. Number three. <laughs> I think I don't have a choice in this one because there's the number three. The audience chose yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we meet the people? Do I have to wait to get my hands on it? Yeah, you yes. do. Okay. You've got to wait like 20 more seconds. Oh my god, okay. Let's see who you could have won. <laughs> this is who you could have won. Come on down, Charlie. Oh, hi. Woo. This way. What do I do? Hi, baby. Hi. How are you? You're gorgeous. Good. Thank you. So are you. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Ingerfield. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Contestant number two, Riyadh. Hi. hi. Lovely to meet you. I like that hair. Thank you so much. And, and she smells good too. Mm. And um, <laughs> she does. smells like a lush shop. Oh, oh, you can't throw it. She smells like lush. It's my hair. Is it? Yeah. Is it lush product? Yeah. Mm, oh, free. Yeah. You like that. Uh, you I do like that. All right, now. Oh, ready? 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 Should we do the big reveal? We, let's do it. You've got a date with Nikki! Yeah. Yeah. Hi. You're gorgeous! Oh, <laughs> oh no. We can work with that, I'll teach you more. Okay. Wow, the chemistry is just like they're speaking in tongues. Great, that's amazing. What? Do you actually? I do. Yeah. Did we plan that? I do. No. That's insane. Can we hear some Greek? Oh, I mean, I can speak a lot, but... She can speak a lot. I don't know hey, how let, far we'll get, but... Well, look, we are on the HuffPost Live, but you can say whatever you well, want Well, I Greek. said Angelica Tikani, and she yeah. understood that. And I would reply, which means, how are you? And I would reply, kala esi? Ne kala, para poli kala. Nice! And oh, that oh this is so adorable! <laughs> Guys! So that, so that shitty ex-boyfriend... <laughs> really? So the shitty ex-boyfriend I had that taught me Greek has finally come in useful. <laughs> oh, why? <laughs> Slay. Yeah, um, well, Angelica and Nikki, give it up for these guys. What a wonderful day. <laughs> and bad luck, Charlie and Riyadh, but I'm sure we'll you're happy. Yeah. They can go yeah. together. Oh, right, yeah, he worked out in And yeah. please give a huge round of applause to <laughs> Queer Date. What a success, everyone. Uh, please give Courtney Axe such a huge round of applause as well. She's going to be back on stage in a minute performing. Uh, guys, I'm going to just take you off the stage now, if that's all right. It's time for your date. Off you go yes. to the Isle of Fernando's. Have a good day. Oh my god, I'm really. I want to like watch how it goes. Will you let us know how it goes? You come back on the show next week and let us know. Please let us <laughs> know. <laughs> All right, so uh, it's Student Pride 2018. This is our 13th year, which is insane. And we're very lucky that nothing has really gone wrong because it's kind of bad luck vibes being number 13. Um, but there's a lot still happening, which I really want to tell you all about once I can find my cue card, which I've lost. Heaven tonight. Who's going? Why can't I find the cue card? Um, the wristbands get you in from 10 p.m. It opens at 10 tonight, which is earlier than normal. So please make sure you're there because you get priority entry. But it's not guaranteed if you get there late. So please make sure you arrive super early. Um, thank you to the Student Pride team. Please give them a huge round of applause. They've been insanely amazing. Don't forget to follow Student Pride on Instagram to catch everything that you've missed today. Hopefully, our cameras will be following Angelica as well, so we'll get a bit of an insight into how their date went. Hi, Courtney. Thanks for coming back. Um, you can watch back the video on HuffPost UK, and please subscribe to the Student Pride podcast, Queer AF, on iTunes, and all the podcast apps. It's called hashtag Queer AF. And early on, it opens at 10 p.m., and you can make the most of £2.50 drink deals. You'll get priority access, queue jump, but not guarantee entry. And you never know who's going to be performing. Although it's a secret, visit drinkaware.co.uk for the facts on alcohol. And last up, give yourself a round of applause because it's you students that make changes happen every single year. And you've made Student Pride so special today. So huge big up to you. Happy National Student Pride. Courtney, are you performing? I'm going to sing a song for you all. Are you ready right now? Yeah, I am. It's one of my favorite Pride songs. It's one of my favorite Pride songs to sing. Uh, this is When Love Takes Over. Hit it. It's complicated. It always is. That's just the way it goes. 
Feels like I waited so long for this. I